In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this clutch or a small bag. The materials that I am using is uh, this cotton. The name of this cotton is Mako from the brand Casasol. And uh, for the purple one I used 100% cotton also from the brand Casasol. The recommended needle is between 3 and 4 millimeters. And I am using a 3.5 mm crochet hook, scissor, needle and a button. I'm going to show you how to make the back and how to sew the sides. And you can add, if you want, a zip and some fabric in the back. So let's go with a step by step. You have to start making a chain 40, chain 40, start with chain 2 and make 39 half double crochet, one half double crochet on each stitch. And in the corner you have to make five half double crochet. And continue on the on the other side of the chain making again 39 half double crochet. Once you finish the 39 half double crochet, you don't have to work in the round. You have to turn and continue making 40 half double crochet. Three half double crochet increase. 3 half double crochet increase and 40 half double crochet On the row number three you have to make 40 half double crochet and repeat three times one half double crochet and one increase You have to repeat one half double crochet and one increase three times. And finish this row with 40 half double crochet.
on the row number four you have to start with the bean stitch chain two and make here in the first stitch you have to take the yarn yarn over take the yarn again yarn over take the yarn again and close the six loops together this is the bean stitch chain one and now make another pin stitch you have to skip one stitch and on the following stitch you have to make another pin stitch take the yarn yarn over take the yarn yarn over take the yarn and close both and close all the loops together repeat one more time skip one stitch and make the bean stitch on the following stitch take the yarn yarn over take the yarn again yarn over and take the yarn and close all the stitches together and chain one this is the first row of the bean stitch we have to make 19 bean stitches Then you have to skip one and make one increase. To make the increase you have to make two bean stitches on the same space. Continue making two bean stitches and make another increase. Remember to skip one stitch between the bean stitch and the other bean stitch. So make another increase. Continue with two bean stitches Another increase and Continue making bean stitches to the end, 19 bean stitches. Row number six, this is the second row of the bean stitch. You don't have to chain two now, you have to make the bean stitch on the space between the chain one and the loops of the bean stitch of the previous row. Here you have to make another bean stitch. Close all the loops, chain one and make again one pin stitch on the following pin stitch. You have to repeat bean stitches to arrive at the increase of the previous row.
once you are at the increase you have to make another increase one increase on the increase continue making uh, three bin stitches you have to make the first um, bin stitch of the three following bin stitches here on the space um, after the increase of the previous row of the previous row so three bin stitches And again, one increase on the increase of the previous row. Three bin stitches. One increase on the increase of the previous row and continue working the pin stitch to the end remember to make the first stitch after the increase uh, very close of the second stitch of the increase of the previous row the third row of the bin stitch you have to start with chain 2 and make the bin stitch as we made on the first row continue making the bin stitch to have five rows making increases on the increases and working the bin stitch in all the row Once you finish the five rows with the bin stitch, you have to um, turn chain two and make one half double crochet on each stitch, but taking the back loops. You have to make one half double crochet on the first stitch and one half double crochet on the chain between the bin stitch and the other bin stitch. So. Uh, for one bin stitch that you have, you have to make two half double crochet. Remember taking the back loops.
and you have to make one increase on each increase of the previous row. So you have to make three increases. Remember taking the back loops one half double crochet around and make three increases. On the row number 10 you have to make one half double crochet around, you don't have to make increases in this row and you have to take both loops of the stitch. So make one half double crochet on each half double crochet. On the row number 11 you have to repeat the Vina stitch but now taking the back loops so chain 2 start with the bin stitch continue making the bin stitch to the following increase you have to make 21 bin stitches one increase on the increase and then make eight bean stitches one increase 8 bin stitches, 1 increase and 21 bin stitches. You have to repeat the rows with the bin stitch to have 5 rows with the, with the bin stitch and remember increases on the increases. On the last row of the bean stitch, when once you are at the top part of the clutch, you have to make uh, between the two stitches of the bean stitch of the increase, you have to make a chain six and continue with the second stitch of the bean stitch. Is uh, this is what you need to um, to attach the button later. Once you finish the last row of the bina stitch, you made the clutch. Now you only have to uh, sew the sides of the clutch.
and sew the pattern on the bottom part of the clutch. And you finished your clutch.